This is USMLE QA, USMLE material presented in a question and answer format structured similar to the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. Question, what is the rough endoplasmic reticulum responsible for? Answer, the rough endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for the synthesis of secretory proteins and the addition of N-linked oligosaccharides to lysosomal and other proteins. Question, what are nissel bodies? Answer, nissel bodies, also known as RER in neurons, are responsible for synthesizing peptide neurotransmitters for secretion. Question, what are free ribosomes? Answer, free ribosomes are unattached to any membrane and are the site of synthesis of cytosolic, paroxysomal, and mitochondrial proteins. Question, where does N-linked glycosylation occur in the endoplasmic reticulum? Answer, N-linked glycosylation occurs in the endoplasmic reticulum. Question, what types of cells are rich in rough endoplasmic reticulum? Answer, goblet cells of the small intestine and antibody secreting plasma cells are rich in rough endoplasmic reticulum. Question, where are proteins within organelles formed? Answer, proteins within organelles such as the endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies and lysosomes are formed in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Question, what is the function of the rough endoplasmic reticulum? Answer, the rough endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for synthesizing proteins and adding and linked oligosaccharides to proteins. It also plays a role in the processing and transport of these proteins to other organelles or for secretion outside the cell. Question, what is the difference between rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum? Answer, the rough endoplasmic reticulum is studded with ribosomes on its surface, which is where proteins are synthesized and modified. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum, on the other hand, does not have ribosomes on its surface and is involved in the metabolism of lipids and the detoxification of drugs and other toxic substances. Question, what are some examples of proteins synthesized in the rough endoplasmic reticulum? Answer, examples of proteins synthesized in the rough endoplasmic reticulum include secretory proteins, lysosomal and other proteins, peptide neurotransmitters, cytosolic, paroxysomal, and mitochondrial proteins. Question, what is the role of nissel bodies in the rough endoplasmic reticulum? Answer, nissel bodies, also known as RER in neurons, are responsible for synthesizing peptide neurotransmitters for secretion. They are an important part of the rough endoplasmic reticulum in neurons, which are responsible for communication between cells. Question, how does the rough endoplasmic reticulum play a role in protein transport? Answer, the rough endoplasmic reticulum plays a critical role role in protein transport by synthesizing and modifying proteins on its ribosome studded surface. These proteins are then transported to other organelles or secreted outside of the cell through the help of vesicles and the Golgi apparatus. Question, what are the functions of the free ribosomes? Answer, free ribosomes are ribosomes that are not attached to any membrane. They are responsible for the synthesis of cytosolic, paroxysomal, and mitochondrial proteins. These proteins are essential for various cellular functions such as metabolism, energy production, and cell growth. Question, how does the rough endoplasmic reticulum aid in the glycosylation of proteins? Answer, the rough endoplasmic reticulum is responsible for the addition of N-linked oligosaccharides to lysosomal and other proteins through a process called N-linked glycosylation. This process helps in the proper folding and stability of the proteins and also plays a role in their transport and targeting to specific cellular locations. Question, what are goblet cells and what is their relationship with the rough endoplasmic reticulum? Answer, goblet cells are a type of secretory cells found in the small intestine that produce and secrete mucus. They are rich in rough endoplasmic reticulum as they rely on it to synthesize and process the mucus proteins that they secrete. Question, what is the role of the rough endoplasmic reticulum in antibody production? Answer, antibody secreting plasma cells are also rich in rough endoplasmic reticulum as they require it to synthesize and process the antibodies that they produce. The RER plays a key role in folding and modifying these proteins so that they can effectively recognize and neutralize invading pathogens. Question, what are the proteins within organelles and where are they formed? Answer, proteins within organelles such as the endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi bodies, and lysosomes are formed in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. These proteins play various roles in the functioning of these organelles and aid in the proper functioning of the cell as a whole. Thank you for watching our Q&A format video. We hope this helped you learn, review, and retain knowledge needed for the USMLEs. For more information on this topic, check out the link in the description. Now, if you want to take your USMLE prep to the next level, 
be sure to check out all our courses, which are structured to follow along with the first aid for the USMLE Step 1 book. You can find us at usmleqa.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe.